In SQL, we can use the WHERE clause to filter records based on a condition. And here's what the syntax is going to look like. We'll use SELECT, FROM, and then WHERE along with some condition that we want to filter by. To try this out, let's look at a patient's table. We've got data about patients at a doctor's office. So maybe what I want is I only want patients returned that are older than 40. So what we'll say is where the age is greater than 40, and it looks like three patients get returned in this scenario. I can also not only filter by numbers, but by text as well. So maybe I want where the city is equal to Milwaukee. And I put Milwaukee in single quotes because it's a text string. It looks like three patients meet that condition. We could also try to bring these two things together and say, only give me patients where they're over 40 and they're in Milwaukee. Those two things have to be met at the same time when we use the AND operator. Now, if we flip this and we use OR instead of AND, the patients have to have at least one of those conditions met. And it looks like all of them are either over 40 or in Milwaukee. They meet one at least of those two conditions. We could also use NOT. We could say where NOT the city is equal to Milwaukee, give me everything except for patients in that city. Another way to do this is for numbers to use between. So we could say where the age is between 20 and 50. It doesn't have to be just greater than 20 or less than 50, something like that. We can use between to provide a range. Now what's important to note here though is with between, it's gonna include 20 and 50. Or we could try in, maybe we want to give a, or provide a specific set of numbers we could say where age is in 25 or 36, or you could give it additional numbers beyond that. And it looks like just two patients are, um, are that age. Also, we could use wild cards and the like. So we might say where the city is like MAD with the wild card. What that means is give me any patient where the city starts with MAD, which is Madison in this case. And we put the wild card at the end you could also um, maybe just change this to say like M and then the wild card. And in that case, it's going to include both Milwaukee and Madison, given that we have a shorter, um, shorter number of letters before the wild card character. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, click the subscribe button. And if you're interested in a SQL cheat sheet, you can find one over at CodyBaldwin.com.